My mum, she was a brilliant mum growing up. Um, we were a very close-knit family and she was just a vibrant, friendly character. My mum's breast cancer was diagnosed end of 2011, 2012. My mum's initial diagnosis, it was caught early, she went into treatment. I think when we realised she had secondary breast cancer, that was quite a shock, but there wasn't you know, anything that could be done. Sadly, she passed away from the cancer in 2021. I was also diagnosed with breast cancer and that was in 2015. I was uh, diagnosed quite late with stage 3B HER2 positive breast cancer and the first few weeks are just like a whirlwind and during that time I decided to speak with um, a doctor to see whether there were any clinical trials ongoing. I do feel really lucky that I was able to get into a clinical trial that probably saved my life. I found this bright neon pink journal that said be bold, be brave, be you and I started to write that from day one but I've put photographs in it and I really treasure those memories although they're not fun or <laughs> like kind memories and they've made me a more resilient and stronger person. For me it, it was a no-brainer that I would work in clinical development. Clinical development has that people aspect as well as the science and they're the two things that I love in life. Having been in a clinical trial for my own treatment and working in clinical development, I think it's really made me think from the patient's perspective. I know what it feels like to be at the hospital all day having treatment. I know the number of needles that you have to <laughs> experience. That's always in the forefront of my mind when we're looking at the operational strategy of our clinical trials. If you ask anybody that you see around the office or who are working in your teams, especially in oncology, why they do what they do, and it really is about the patients and trying to get new treatments. And that passion and drive is everywhere. And they, they've really inspired me through my own cancer journey, the support they gave me. When I think about how close I could have been to not making it, it really makes me think, how do I get the most out of my life moving forward? I just feel really privileged to be here. Mum, colleagues, friends and family, I'm inspired by you.